Hello everyone, you're watching the channel Military TV. In this video, we'll look at the Ticonderoga class guided missile cruisers. The Ticonderoga class of guided missile cruisers is a class of warships in the United States Navy first ordered and authorized in the 1978 fiscal year. The Ticonderoga class cruiser's design was based on that of the Spruance class destroyer. Modern U.S. Navy guided missile cruisers perform primarily in a battle force role. Due to their extensive combat capabilities, these ships have been designated as battle force capable units. Their primary armament, the vertical launching system, employs both the long-range surface-to-surface Tomahawk cruise missile and the standard surface-to-air missile. These multi-mission ships are capable of sustained combat operations in any combination of anti-air, anti-submarine, anti-surface, and strike warfare environments. They are built to be employed in support of carrier battle groups, amphibious assault groups, as well as interdiction and escort missions. Of the 27 completed vessels, 19 were built by Ingalls Shipbuilding and 8 by Bath Ironworks. All but one, Thomas S. Gates, of the ships in the class are named for noteworthy events in U.S. military history, and at least 12 share their names with World War II-era aircraft carriers. As of 2020, 22 ships are still active and expected to serve for 35 years since commissioning. 22 ships are operational, 11 in the U.S. Navy Atlantic Fleet and 11 in the Pacific Fleet, two of which are based in Japan in the U.S. Naval Forces Base at Yokosuka. The Ticonderogas were the first surface combatant ships equipped with the Aegis Weapon System, the most sophisticated air defense system in the world. The heart of Aegis is the SPY-1A radar. Two paired phased array radars automatically detect and track air contacts to beyond 322 kilometers, 200 miles. The Aegis system was developed to counter the serious air-to-missile threat that Soviet Union and naval forces posed to U.S. carrier battle groups and other task forces. With Ticonderoga-class cruisers and company, battle group commanders had weapons that could deal comprehensively with massed missile attacks, and ships could act as effective anti-air warfare command and control platforms during an engagement at sea. The class uses passive phased array radar and was originally planned as a class of destroyers. However, the increased combat capability offered by the Aegis combat system and the AN-SPY-1 radar system, together with the capability of operating as a flagship, were used to justify the change of the classification from DDG, guided missile destroyer, to CG, guided missile cruiser, shortly before the keels were laid down for Ticonderoga and Yorktown. 22 of the class, CG-52 through CG-73, are fitted with two MK-41 Vertical Launch Systems VLS, each armed with eight Boeing Raytheon Tomahawk cruise missiles. The first five ships, CG-47 to CG-51, are fitted with conventional twin launchers. The MK-41 launchers are being upgraded with new Lockheed Martin AN-ALQ-70 computers and the ability to launch evolved Sea Sparrow missiles. In the anti-ship role, the missile uses inertial guidance and active passive radar homing to a range of 250 nautical miles. The land attack version uses a TERCOM, terrain comparison, and inertial navigation system. Range is up to 2,500 kilometers. As part of the U.S. Navy cruiser conversion program, the MK-41 launchers are being upgraded with new Lockheed Martin AN-ALQ-70 computers and the ability to launch evolved Sea Sparrow missiles and tactical Tomahawk Block 4 missiles. Evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, which entered service with the USN in 2004, has been developed by Raytheon with an international cooperative of 10 NATO countries and is designed to counter high-speed anti-ship missiles. It has the same semi-active radar guidance and warhead as the Sparrow, but has a new rocket motor and tail control to provide increased speed, range, and maneuverability. Tactical Tomahawk, which entered service in September 2004, has the capability for mission planning on board the launch vessel, in-flight targeting, and loitering. Two four-cell launchers for the Boeing Harpoon surface-to-surface -surface missile systems are installed on the gun deck at the stern of the ship. 
Harpoon has a range of up to 125 kilometers. The ships are armed with the Raytheon Standard Missile 2MR surface-to-air missile, which uses command and inertial guidance and semi-active radar homing and has a range of 70 kilometers. 60 missiles are carried for each of the two MK-41 VLS. In November 2002, the standard missile SM-3, being developed by Raytheon, successfully intercepted a ballistic missile in space from USS Lake Erie CG-70. The SM-3 is designed to intercept ballistic missiles outside the Earth's atmosphere and will form part of the U.S. Navy's sea-based mid-course defense. The missile has new GPS, inertial navigation guidance, and kinetic warhead. Raytheon began deliveries of the SM-3 in December 2004. Lockheed Martin has developed the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense 3.0 capability for the Aegis combat system to engage ballistic missiles with the SM-3 missile. USS Shiloh, USS Erie, and USS Port Royal have been fitted with the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense 3.6 system, which provides the capability for long-range surveillance, tracking and engagement of short- and medium-range ballistic missiles. The system received U.S. Navy certification for full deployment in September 2006. The three cruisers with 15 Arleigh Burke destroyers formed the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Fleet. Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense is the main sea-based component of the U.S. Ballistic Missile Defense System. A triple 324mm tube torpedo launcher is capable of launching the MK-46 Mod 5 torpedo and MK-50 torpedo from Alliant Tech Systems. The MK-46 anti-submarine torpedo has a range of 10 kilometers. The MK-50 has a range of 15 kilometers. The Lockheed Martin Vertical Launch, ASROC, is armed with the MK-50 or MK-46 torpedo and is launched from the MK-41 VLS. The ship's main guns are two BAE Systems Land and Armaments MK-45 127mm, 54 guns capable of firing 32 kg shells to a target range of 22 km at a maximum firing rate of 20 rounds a minute. Two Raytheon Phalanx MK-15 close-in weapon systems are installed. Phalanx has a 20mm 53 caliber 6-barrel gun capable of firing 3,000 rounds a minute to a target range of 1.5 km. Phalanx Block 1B is fitted with a thermal imager and can fire 4,000 rounds a minute. The ship supports two Sikorsky SH-60B Seahawk helicopters fitted with the LAMPS Mission Avionics integrated by Lockheed Martin Federal Systems which provide the capability of directing tactical actions by the ship and air team. Under the FY15 National Defense Authorization Act, Congress directed modernization in accordance with the 246 plan, which allowed the Navy to modernize two cruisers a year, remain under modernization for no more than four years, and allow no more than six ships to undergo modernization at any one time. <laughs>